Oh, what time do we start? Fuck. Cut it about <laughs> 23 seconds ago. We could start over. Nah. <laughs> the intro is on point. <laughs> yeah, let me fart real quick. Oh! Seriously? <laughs> God! I farted so hard it made Ash a connection. <laughs> you, farted, you farted Ashton off of Skype. He used up all his bandwidth. <laughs> uh, just give up. All right. Just posting all the episodes I'm edited from now on. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the Nerd Herd Gaming Podcast here in the Next Level Nerd Network. Today's episode is brought to you by LARP Box, the subscription box for LARPers by LARPers. Check out LARPbox.com and use the promo code 321PODCAST and get 10% off your order and help support us here at Next Level Nerd. I am Handsome Evan. Today with me, we have Justin, Billy, and Ashton. Hey, what up? Hi. Hola. Feels like we practice that. Yeah, almost. <laughs> that was good. Today we're going to get a little update and see what the Nerd Herd has been getting into. It's been a while since we had a chance. We had a lot of good topics recently, so we've just been getting right into them. So today we're going to see what everyone's playing and what they're looking forward to in the coming months. Who wants to start? <laughs> Here, I'll roll no. a die. Let's... Oh, okay, good. Ooh, what does that mean, though? Do you... I, like... I know what it means. Okay. Okay. <laughs> That's a fake die. It's weighted. Billy. <laughs> what? <laughs> Let's hear from you. You've been you playing Anthem, re- right? Gobble. What's that? <clears throat> Start that again. You're taking notes, Justin? No. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, I'll do it for once. I just don't <laughs> have a... Well, Billy, why don't you tell us what you've been playing lately? Uh, lately, still been uh, tinkering around with Resident Evil 2 Remake. Um, I recently picked up uh, Anthem. Uh, I haven't gotten too far into that game yet, but from what I've played, it is pretty pretty amazing. It's good overall flow to the game. Cross between like a, a solo exploration game and like a multiplayer, you know, team up shooter. So it's pretty fun. I like the uh, free play mode because you can go around and kind of explore the landscape. It's really unique and um, just wonderful. I don't know. I love it. Don't have enough time to play it, but I love it. And yeah. then, uh, go ahead. There's uh, different suits. I think they're called javelins, right? Yeah, they are. And what I mean, are you playing? Um, I'm playing like the tank kind of javelin suit. It's called the Colossus. You basically start off with like you get like a shield on one of your arms that you can activate, and you start with like a mini gun, but you can equip like grenade launchers and any any type of gun, really, shotgun, sniper rifle. And then each suit has like their own kind of perks, although I haven't leveled up far enough to uh, get any of the other suits yet. Like I said, I haven't been playing the PlayStation all that much lately, especially with you know my sports season coming back into the fray. It's it's really a sports sporty podcast, it Billy. Hey, it's a form of gaming. gaming. I actually did think of that. When you said something about <laughs> rugby, I was like, well, that's kind of a game. Yeah. It's it kind is. of a game. What it is a game? It is a game. <laughs> <laughs> but then uh, also, I've been playing uh, some Apex Legends. Yeah, how's that? Uh, it's it's free pretty game, good. Right? Yeah, it's uh, it's free to play. It's a really unique system that they have because it's kind of set up just like Fortnite and you know PUBG and all these other ones coming. But it, mm-hmm. what it has is it's really unique because once you die, like in your team mode, you can actually be brought back to life. And I think that's something that, you know, Fortnite has been dabbling in because people, they lost like a ton of users and subscribers since Apex came out. So, oh, nice. Yeah. So it brought some new elements to the whole Battle Royale mode that I think some of the other games will be picking up shortly as well. So if someone runs off a cliff right after they start playing. Well, I mean, I don't you know about that. Back to life. But like if you die, would you want to out. though? <laughs> but but if you die, like you you drop like basically like your your inventory in like a chest, mm. and oh. a player on your team can run and pick up like your revive token. They can bring it to like a special part on the map. There's a bunch of them scattered throughout the map. After they steal, and basically like, yeah. yeah, you just come back to life. You just jump down out of another drop ship, and you're back into the 
back into the game. But what's different is like once you once you die, you start with no weapons or ammo or armor or anything like that. So you're basically running around with with no abilities or anything like that. Mm. But interesting. You know, yeah. But you can still win the game. Yeah, you can still win the game. Right now they only have like uh, like the uh, I don't know group mode. So it's like teams of three. Go. So there's twenty teams of three. But I think yeah. they're adding some new stuff this month. So. Pretty excited to see what they'll be adding. Cool. And that's about it for Even my... Being uh... added. Oh! <laughs> there we go. Surprise, there motherfuckers. A <laughs> challenger approaches! Joe, I was just talking <laughs> shit on Anthem and how much I hate it. it. That's cool, because no, you haven't really played it. So. No, I'm joking. I like, I like it so far for what I've played of it. So He said it was wonderful. <laughs> said he can't play enough of it. <laughs> yeah, so Joe can actually go into more in depth on on the anthem. Sure, we can do that. Joe, you've been playing anthem a lot. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Yeah. I've decided to stop playing anthem. <laughs> stop playing us. anthem. Actually, <laughs> help out on a podcast. Um, it's good, man. Uh, I'm level twenty three right now. So I beat the main storyline, which was pretty long. Uh, she said, "I want to say yep. it was like took me like ten hours, maybe." Okay, and that's from like doing other stuff too. And I still haven't beaten all the beginning level stuff. Uh, like all the there's like three storylines. I think you're kind of like doing from the beginning for three different factions. Mm-hmm. Um, one's the freelancers, which is the main storyline, and then there's like the sentinels and the arcanists. And they all kind of, the stories are all kind of like different. They focus on different things. The Sentinels kind of interweave with the freelancer plot, which the freelancer plot is all about bringing back the freelancers, which is the character that you play. It's the group that you're in that like takes odd jobs, bounties and stuff like that. And you kind of, at the beginning of the game, something happens, some cataclysm that basically ruins the reputation of all freelancers across the whatever this place is called. I forget what it's called. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you're basically yep. trying to earn that reputation back. Um, mm. And the storyline is really good. Um, you can definitely like choose some like, I don't, I wouldn't say it's like good versus evil, like dialogues, but there's definitely like, you can be a prick. <laughs> yeah. And I, I, I noticed like that too, but does it, does it, like affect the way that the game is played at all, or is it just kind of, you know? I just think it dialogue. it affects the way like certain characters are to you, um, and there are like minor characters that you can actually like at a certain point just dismiss from Fort Tarsus, like you just or I think you're from Fort Tarsus, right? That's where you're at. Uh, yeah, I believe so. Yeah, you can just kick people out. <laughs> like, I had enough <laughs> of you. Get the fuck. Yeah, out. I had enough of your shit. Why you should just move on. You should go live somewhere else. Um, this is a Bioware game, right? Yeah. Correct. Okay, that explains a lot. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what I like about it though is like the mech suits feel like they don't feel like real sloppy or anything <clears throat> like that. Like everything's like real fluid, and even like the the Colossus character I play, like you feel like a tank. Like you get in there, you're in the middle of like the melee and the mayhem. You can pop your shield up, absorb a bunch of damage. I think that trucking. Yeah, I think that's an achievement of itself. Uh, uh, each character class feels very different. How you control them, the speed at which you move, the way you, you can like jump around, or um, the weight that you feel in your character. Um, like especially like I play the interceptor, but I played a little bit of the uh, Colossus, and that's it's like <laughs> it's like night and day. It's yeah. so hard to switch because the interceptor is the fast mobile runs around slicing mm. people up in the right. middle of combat. Um, you're sort of like a, you're a glass cannon. Like you do a, a lot of damage to individual targets, but at the same time, you can also change up your play style to be more, um, what's it called? Versatile. Versatile. Yeah. And you can, you can lay mines. You can do like all kinds of stuff. You can have like striking attacks that take you like in and out of battle real quick. So there's a lot of stuff you can do to like 
make the character play how you want it to play and uh, just within the character classes themselves, which is really cool. So there's that customization like a skill tree or something that you can focus on what you want to play or um, how you want to play? They're like drops. So there's no skill trees. Like everything that you get is like something that you add to your suit or take away from it. Oh, okay. So it's just like everything that you kind of like every skill or a quote unquote skill or ability that you would choose to like add to your character um, is something you can find just like at random. Okay. Um, and they recently did a patch where the stuff that you find is specifically geared towards the character you're playing, like the class that you're playing. Cause before it was kind of a little wonky, it would give you like a pistol and it would be geared better towards like playing a Colossus than it was a javelin mm-hmm. like, or interceptor. Yeah. That's how Diablo started. Like, Nowadays, you pretty much only get gear that is good for your character. Yeah. But before it was totally random, which was th- super annoying. <laughs> yeah, I think it was a fluke. Like, I don't think it was like meant to be that way. It just like there was something with I don't know that caused that to happen, and they immediately fixed it. Mm, like, I think it was good. like out for like a week or two, and they fixed it. Um. So that's another thing I'm really liking about the game. Like, they're definitely listening to people who are playing the game and enjoying the game. And taking what they say to heart and making changes as quickly as possible. Um, so yeah, I, I'm I'm loving the game. I think it, it like Phil said, it plays really nice. Um, out of the suit, as far as like cons and what I don't like of the game, I hate that you have to like visit every single person and talk to them. Yeah. It's like super fucking annoying. Mm. That sounds like a Bioware game. Um, (laughs) it was like, it was one of the things where I know Bioware can make like a good, uh, narrative or something. I was going to say like the action, they can make Mm. pretty, really good action games as well as like the narrative. So I was like excited that when this game was released, people were like, oh man, it's not going to have all the story that all the other games I'm like, good. Cause like, I want (laughs) to just play, like, I know they can make great action games. Like. You know, if you go back to uh, Jade Empire, like, holy shit, mm-hmm. like the stuff that you could do at the game, the fighting. I wish they would remake that game because it's mm-hmm. still it still holds up, in my opinion. But uh, Xbox classic. Yeah, Xbox classic. So I wanted more like I'm glad they focused a lot on the action and got that feeling like perfect. And like the story, the story is there. It functions really well. But some of the stuff, like some of the characters you can talk to are not really that important and like I could take it or leave it. Um, I'm glad that it's there, but for people who want it, but it's a little tedious. Sometimes I open the map and I'm like, Holy shit. Like there's like <laughs> 20 people I got to talk to. Like who are the ones just giving me missions? Cause that's, I just want to beat the game. <laughs> Is it, you have to talk to them or these are just people that have something to say. You may or may not be important to what you're doing. Um, and they just build like, up your reputation with mm-hmm. the different factions so that's kind of important. Um, but their like contribution to that point system doesn't really seem like it's uh, seems pretty negligible. Like, yeah, you get like one point for some of them, I think I noticed. Yeah. So did you get like a special edition or anything like that? I did not. I just no, I did not either. Oh, OK, yeah, they just had the regular one when I went up to purchase it. They were sold all out of the the, what, the $80 version or whatever and um as far as like end game stuff i unlocked all the strongholds which i've only played one of them uh because of the beta and a buddy of mine he's like power level like 400 plus something ridiculous i'm only at 230 and he said like it's a lot of fun but there are still things like some of the strongholds the strongholds don't have like specific loot pools so that's kind of a negative um, because you only you, there's three of them, and one of them is actually easy. So that's what everybody plays, and there's a little bit of fatigue there. Mm, uh, mm. That's kind of weird. <laughs> yeah, and that was actually something that <laughs> the Diablo developer or pointed out, like the loot pool, like fix, like also pointed out, like um, a little bit of fatigue and playing the strongholds. Um. So they they said they're going to address it somehow. So I kind of like have faith that they're going to keep doing 
good work. Um, and I don't think they're doing paid DLC, as far as I know. So all the mm. DLC should be free. That's always a plus free nowadays. DLC. Yeah. <clears throat> Now, have you heard anything, or is there any plans to do any kind of like multiplayer? Because I think this game would excel in like a four-on-four, you know, uh, multiplayer mode. PvP, you mean? Yeah, that's what I mean. PvP multiplayer. Um, when they before the game was released, they had mentioned that they, it's not something they wanted to do like before the release of the game, it's saying they something they would come back to. Having played like I think a significant amount of the game, uh, I don't think it would work. Like uh, they'd have to take out certain they'd have to take out your ultimate abilities because like the interceptor would be broken as heck because you basically immortal <laughs> um so there'd be some things they have to balance but uh i could see it like later on like down the road once they like but i think it'd need its own like loot pool its own reward system and its own leveling system in and of itself, like separate from the main storyline. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I just like the, like the different levels that you can play. Like you can fight on the ground. You can fight in the air. I mean, you could be, you know, 200 feet above somebody. You know, it's just the the way that you can transition between fighting on the ground and in the air is like, I think would be a great dynamic in that whole PvP battle mode. In yeah, my opinion. I think they could make a sports game. Like uh, there's a blitz ball piece of like yeah, something say. like that. Uh, <laughs> there's a cor- cortex like thing that you can find, like a document you can find where they talk about like disc disc war or something like that. Disc golf. That's like a game. It's like a Froth. mix between. Um, I don't know the uh, what's the Halo and the thing you just said. I don't remember what it's called. Blitz ball. Is it like Quidditch and Mech Warrior suits? Um, well, <laughs> I, I guess it would be like you have the disc and you're trying to score or whatever. You can throw it back and forth for each other. So, yeah. Um, I'd be all for that too. Like that. I hope that would they, be a like, nice, interesting change between just kill each other. Yeah. Yeah. I think it'd be something fun. Um, and you have the suits that can fly around and do all kinds of crazy stuff. Yeah, it's a great game. Cool. Artem out. Bye. I'm shit. <laughs> and then he was gone. <laughs> Justin, what have you been up to lately? Um, mostly just honing my skills in Smash. Uh, Joe and I played a couple, well, a couple weeks ago, I think, and uh, hosted like a uh, an online room. Um, what do they call them? Battle arenas or whatever for yeah. for NLN. And it really made me realize that holy shit, I love Smash, and I need to put down whatever I'm playing now and play that again. And so I've been playing the hell out of that. Um, I picked up some of the new games that Nintendo uh, released the demos for. That are, They had that big Nintendo Direct recently. Um, there was uh, Damon X Machina, um, which is really, really kind of a cool concept. It's like a... Um, like a mech warrior type of game, kind of like what you guys are talking about, but it really was crap. Like <laughs> it was the art style and everything about it. I just was like, no, nah, this is not for me. Um, but the cool thing that they were doing with it is the developer actually wanted to send out emails to people who had played the game and say, you know, Hey, what did you like? What did you not like? Like survey, you know, so you could give your input and stuff. And I mean, honestly, I felt bad because if they send me an email, I'm just going to be like, no, I, I can't. I'm not your target audience for this game. Um, well, I mean, that's useful information, too. Like, yeah. If you say, hey, yeah. this is all garbage. I would change this, 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 and this, this, and this. Like, <laughs> well, I just don't that. think that's, that's not my type of game, though. I didn't know what the game was, and I jumped in, and I was just like, I don't know enough about that style of game to be able to to comment on it intelligently. So I'll just let the people who are enjoying it or whatever play it because it was maybe to me it was just like like um anime the video game. But <laughs> <Sounds awesome. laughs> I mean to some people, yeah. <laughs> um but it, it it was what it was. I don't want to spend too much time on it. But they also released a demo for um Yoshi's Crafted World. Oh, really? Which is freaking dope. 
I I've played through the demo. There's one level in the demo and it what it does is it like changes perspectives on like where you can walk and stuff kind of like um there was a Paper Mario game that kind of did that oh, a few gotcha. years ago. Yeah. And uh like you're in this basically this giant diorama is what each level is, but you go through it from different perspectives and you see different things and there's different goals for every level. And uh, I just played through that demo again with my five-year-old, and he was loving it. Um, except the little bastard kept eating me because it's like one of those, you know, those <laughs> those uh, well, two karma's people. A bitch. Yeah, it's one of those. Um, <laughs> it's like Super Mario, the new Super Mario Brothers, where you're both on screen at the same time and stuff, and you're supposed to work together, but your five-year-old just keeps eating you and pooping you back out, and <laughs> or your thirty-year-old friend. Yeah, or that guy. Um, <laughs> But yeah, it it looks like it's going to be um, you know another big hit from Nintendo, and you know I'm I'm pretty sold on it. So um, you know as far as their first parties go, I think I think it looks pretty good. Um, the other thing um, that they released from from the direct was uh, Tetris ninety nine. <laughs> Holy shit! Battle Royale Tetris is the greatest combination of things ever. That shit is addictive. Uh, I already forgot about it until you just brought it up again, to be honest. <laughs> no way, man. Boring. Uh, boring, boring nothing. Boring. Terrible, but... I didn't want to play Tetris 20 years ago. Yeah, Dude, uh, Tetris <laughs> is my fan. game, though. Yeah, see, I love puzzle games like that, like Puyo Puyo and Tetris and Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine and like just the the... Puzzle games, that's my jam. So I mean, that's that's always good. Like, just sit back, relax, play a game, but don't you don't have it's to like engage your mind. Texas game. <laughs> now it's yeah, massive. No, it's a battle right now. How is it relaxing? Yeah, it's not at all. <laughs> uh, see, I always I always thought Tetris was fun like that, but yeah, I just maybe Tetris is, but not this one. <laughs> oh, see, Jess and I, I will be sitting far, there. Then. It's an anxiety attack once you get to eight or nine. <laughs> yeah, I, I got up to uh, I think our best so far is third because Jess and I have been playing it together. She also kind of likes puzzle games, so like I'll play and then pass her the controller and she plays around and then we just keep doing rematches back and forth like that. And um, she actually got up to number three, and I was like, "Oh my god!" And I think the highest I've got is four. And like I've been playing it without her, like trying to get better at it. <laughs> gotta beat her. <laughs> Yeah, I want to be like get the one and hit the screenshot and just be like, oh my god, look what I did. <sighs> yeah, it's like all right. Uh, yeah, I played for a couple nights. I couldn't. I didn't get it at first. Like, right? There's all well, there's these no things happening off the screen. With it. You had to figure it out. <laughs> yeah, I'm still not totally sure how it works. To be honest, but yeah. is it points based like the well, championship where you got to get like the Texas? Basically, uh, it's who can stay awake the longest. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> Kinda, <it>. yeah. <laughs> you got to focus on it. Um, but yeah, so Bill, like, there's your Tetris game going on, and there's 98 other Tetris games going on, and your right joystick on the controller controls who you are dropping lines on. So like, when you get points, it just stacks up, and it's like versus Tetris. Yeah, yeah. So you can be dropping playing those and doing lines. really well. I'm in. I'm downloading it tonight. <laughs> you can be doing really well, and all of a sudden you'll get like eight or ten lines out of nowhere and fuck your game yeah. up. Oh, but wow. you can go after like the people that are attacking you. Go after like the leader, people that are close to getting knocked out. Like you can play it. Yeah, in different like, ways. How do you just give them lines? Do, like they take yours or something? No, the higher your score is. Like if you get a Tetris, you drop a shitload of lines on them. So when you oh, make you get okay. if you Sense get like four purpose. lines, you drop I think like it's not like a line for a line. It's like no. a line is a point in a meter, and when that meter fills up, you get a line. Right. So if like a bunch of people are targeting you, and they all get lines, then your screen's gonna fill up. Yeah, that's the thing that sucks is when break. they target you. Basically. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I haven't found out any good strategies. Like, is it good to target randomly? Is it good to target that's people the hard who thing. are about to? KO or target. See, it wait. seems like targeting your attackers is a bad idea. See, that's <laughs> what I that's what I always do is because when I start getting attacked, I'm like, all right, fuck you. I'm coming out full force. Line, motherfucker. Line, motherfucker. Line. 
<laughs> and I just drop that shit. <laughs> Suck my line. Suck my line. Ooh, oh, like Ice Cube was going to come out and start rapping with you in the background. <laughs> that's Korean Jesus. He ain't got time for you. He busy with Korean shit. Wow. Sorry. Ashton, what have you been up Korean to? Korean Elvis. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, was that it, Justin? Just those two? I would say that from everyone I've talked to that likes Tetris, I've everybody praises it. So yeah, and it's awesome that they did something like that. It's a it's a cool it idea. Adds, it's a cool concept that you know, yeah, something it, different. It adds something a little different to it. Like I, ever since the Nintendo Online thing has come out, like I'll sit there and just play Doctor Mario for hours and hours and hours and you know listen to my wife turn the music down (laughs) no um but yeah the uh the the sweet thing about having a new tetris game it's like what could they possibly do different and then they do something like that and it's like oh my god you bastards you evil russian geniuses (laughs) (laughs) sorry Ashton, you got a few He's new games on Spy. <laughs> your uh, Switch, right? Uh, yes. So yeah, I have a list. <laughs> oh, God. Is this a confession? It's been a while. No. <laughs> yeah, I got a Switch beginning of the year. Uh, so I've been playing a lot of that. Pretty much that's it, really. That's all I've played. Uh, started, I think, pretty much with... Oh, uh, I played Legend of Zelda, but I'd already beaten that. Uh, and then Evan let me borrow some games, and then I played a bunch of those. So played Octopath Traveler, but we did a whole podcast on that, so <laughs> not going to say much. <laughs> uh, but it's pretty awesome. Um, I had, although I played it a lot, and then I switched to another game. I forget why exactly, but and I went back to it the other day, and I felt like I had a hard time getting back into it because um, it's a lot of long stories of eight different characters. So it's kind of like, what? What the fuck was I doing in this town? Like, <laughs> and there is a little bit of like, once you get so far, you can kind of do a lot of side quests and travel around and tie up all these side quest, you know, loose ends. So I think that's what I was doing, and I kind of lost steam, and then mm-hmm. I forgot exactly the point of living. Bought Mario Party. It's all right, mostly because I wanted games I could play with other people. Play a little Mega Man Eleven. It's pretty good. It's pretty hard. So we we bought a Switch and just. As far as uh, <laughs> 54 minutes, Justin was caught. <laughs> Rolling my dice. Uh, no, we bought a Switch, and uh, I only bought Super Smash Brothers for it. But then I was like, oh, Felicia, you know, like, did you like Super Mario Party? As we played it over a friend's house. Um, and she was like, I hate it. It sucks now. And I was like, damn. So, no Super Mario Party for me. <laughs> That's like <laughs> my favorite right. game of did all time. Did you like though. it? Did you like it, Joe? Her complaints about it, I, I kind of agree with. Yeah, I have no, I have never really played that series much. I like the mini like, games a lot. Yeah. I don't really care for the board game aspect of it. I like yeah. the mini games are like hard to like kind of get into, but they're also like really simple. So it's just like you're not always going to win, even if you're skilled at it, because like right. just random shit can happen. Um, so I like that aspect of it, but yeah, they made that uh, 100, like the 100 best mini games for Mario Party, like for 3DS though, just recently. And it's like, oh my god, release that on Switch! Yeah, because that looked amazing to me. And I'm not like a big Mario Party guy. Right. Sorry to interrupt you, Ashton. Continue. No, no, it's okay. All right, cool. Well, anyway, no. <laughs> Uh, yeah, the two, well, I'll say this one real quick. I just bought my time and I thought it was Portia, but I think they say it in the game Portia or Portia or something. Yeah. Portilla. But, uh, it's, it's a, uh, like, I don't know. It's like a farm ish simulating game. Cause you have to like gather wood and rocks and stuff, but there is a lot of combat and exploration and relationships and stuff. So it's that kind of game. It's not for everybody, by far. So it's like The Sims, which is all your favorite mm. games of all time? No, it's more like The Sims plus Harvest Moon. <laughs> I heard uh, it's Legend of Zelda meets Harvest Moon. Yeah, that's pretty good. 
Um, but I played the alpha a long time ago, like on itch, I think, itch.io. Itch and, what? uh, what is this? What sentence what you're is saying? This? What? <laughs> itch.io it's a website for indie developers that doesn't exist okay okay <laughs> uh but yeah it's fun um i played the alpha and liked it so when it came out it was, it was one of those games like it seems like a lot of indie games are like just always in beta <laughs> forever and ever sure <laughs> never yeah. released and i was like oh it actually released <laughs> and i'd heard what little i'd heard about it was positive so i checked it out it's only thirty bucks, so yeah, that's not I'm bad. sure it'll waste a lot of time for me. <laughs> uh, but the two big ones, I guess, uh, I bought. I believe in an indie game. It's called Chasm on Switch, and it's like a 16-bit style Metroidvania game. Um, very kind of much an homage to like uh, Symphony of the Night. Uh, cause they basically use a lot of the same moves and style. Um, but it's procedurally generated, um, which a lot of people weren't crazy about, I guess. Like how they do were you, like, how do you go back somewhere if it's procedurally generated? Like if it's a Metroidvania? Well, I think it's, so when you start a new game, it procedurally generates the whole game for you basically. So if you uh-huh. play a new game and there's different difficulty levels, um, everything will be different. And it's not like kind of totally different. Like I think there's just like set map rooms that'll connect. So you'll kind of see the same room sometimes, even in the same game. Uh, hmm. But it, it was kind of cool. Um, I thought like what I was reading a little bit of uh, reviews and critiques on it and it wasn't like super highly praised. It was mostly like an above average, you know, kind of at the low to like a solid, decent... <laughs> Mm-hmm. is what most people were giving it but I kind of thought it was better than that like uh, it felt like a full game like fully polished it was only 20 bucks like I got it at full price which I thought was fine for what it was worth but on sale I'd say it's totally worth it if you're into that kind of game um, like a Metroidvania kind of game um, and it had little quests and shit you could do and a bunch of different items and equipment and it progressed like gameplay style kind of like Metroid you know, you'd unlock skills after you get to the next level or whatever. Um, but yeah, I, I originally played it on normal, and it was fine. And then I kind of was like, not hitting a wall, but I was getting like frustrated having to redo parts or whatever. So I was like, I just want to try it on easy, see how easy it is. <laughs> and it was, surprise, much easier. Uh, <laughs> but it was a little bit more enjoyable, because I could just kind of like go through it and... Uh, you know, figure out what was going on and stuff. Um, so yeah, uh, I'd recommend it if you're into that kind of game. Uh, you know, I'd probably give it more like a four, four and a half stars out of five, or eight, eight and a half. Word. Uh, you got a switch. Good you like Metroidvanias? Uh, uh, then the other thing I played Chasm, a lot. Chasm yeah. is for every console, actually. Oh yeah, sorry, I should have mentioned that. Um, that was probably the most recent port was Switch. Um, but yeah, you can get on a bunch of stuff. And actually, that was one thing I thought of um, that I wondered if they had updated it a few times. Like some of the initial reviews weren't that great. Yeah. But I, I'd heard there were some some updates and some changes. So they may have fixed a lot. Uh, like apparently there was a lag with the backwards dash or something. They fixed and I think they added... Um, I didn't notice this at first. So I don't know if it's like after you beat it once, you can actually choose a class which just affects... Um, how you level and your stats or whatever. So like you just there's just like a standard play, but then you could be either a warrior, mage, or thief or something. So if you're a warrior, you have more strength, but you have like no magic at all or barely any. So anyway, they they had some stuff, and I actually messaged the Facebook page because I was curious if it's uh, multiplayer or you can play online because it it has like a game seed and there was something else that maybe think like uh, you can share it with a friend or something but anyway it's not the main game's not multiplayer but they want to add some new features or gameplay modes that'll i guess possibly have online features so cool you say there's another one yet yeah um well i got to talk too much about it but (laughs) (laughs) uh i played the shit out of mario odyssey oh right and it was 
My notes are oh. 10 out of 10. Amazing. Love it. <laughs> it sounds like you just Love pulled it. those off of like Yahoo review. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Um, I didn't even play it. <laughs> <laughs> I need more on my list. <laughs> but yeah, uh, it was a ton of fun. I I wrote that it was the best one since since Mario 64, but then I realized I don't know if I've played a Mario game like that since Mario 64. <laughs> Super Mario I, Sunshine. Like I didn't yeah, play Mario Sunshine Galaxy or Galaxy. Oh, yeah, Sunshine's like terrible. Galaxy. You played Sunshine for like ten minutes. You're like, this sucks. No. Turned Sunshine, it off. you get to clean up garbage and stuff. That's yeah, like the best Sunshine, Mario of all time. No, it's uh, not. It it's like terrible. It sounds yeah. Like- it's like, hey kids, let's see what Mario does when he's not saving the princess. Oh, he's cleaning up shit. Yeah, he's a plumber. <laughs> yeah. It well, he doesn't have to. D- I don't want to play the game where he goes out and does community service. <laughs> like he has fucking to be in the real world. <laughs> adopt a highway bullshit. That's well, because <laughs> he pissed Luigi off, and Luigi pulls the string, so he made him go out and do some weird ass shit. <laughs> yeah, Galaxy's excellent. It was cooler. What did you think? Know, as Luigi far as Odyssey job, goes. <laughs> As far as Odyssey goes, how far how far did you get? Like, did you go through every world, or did you beat the main story? Where are you at? Uh, yeah, I finished it. Um, beat the main story, and then spoilers. There's a couple extra worlds you can get to that I got to, but didn't really do anything with because <laughs> they're kind of like I don't know what you want to call them hard mode or they're they're extra challenging. Fucking ridiculous. Yeah, Dark, so, yes. The darker side is probably one of the hardest levels of gaming that made me want to keep playing. Like, didn't piss me off, just made me go, damn it, I need to get better. And just like, <laughs> cue my Rocky montage of me playing that damn level because it's <laughs> insane. <laughs> um, yeah. If you can make it through that, that that is like amazing but uh, doing like thumb exercises to like yeah i'm doing push-ups music. on my thumbs uh, uh, evan needs to do those who so doesn't stop or doesn't keep getting blisters those are from <laughs> something else no that's only fighting <laughs> games yeah but odyssey odyssey is one of those um you know one of those games it's just like damn you know mario how does he keep getting better Except for that mistake called Sunshine. If you haven't played Galaxy, I really hope they do end up porting that to the Switch in some fashion. Because Galaxy 1 and 2 were really, really fun games that did a lot with physics. Like I didn't do so well in physics in high school. That was a good move. Bad. <laughs> I, to... yeah, I don't know why I didn't play Galaxy. I had a both the Wii and the Wii U. So I've been playing Final Fantasy XII Zodiac Age, uh, which is just the re-release of Zodiac, just the re-release of Final Fantasy XII with crazy better graphics. And I think they did redo a little bit of the class system, but I actually had never really played this one. What are you playing it on? Uh, PS4. Oh, okay. I think it's coming to Switch either this month or next. Yeah, there's a bunch of Final Fantasies coming to Switch soon. Right. But it's fun. Uh, I like the gameplay. It's a lot more open than the tur- than the old like turn style um, or turn-based. Like even 13 was mostly turn-based, but this is a lot like uh, open world. Uh, and I think a lot of the stuff from Final Fantasy 14 was brought from it. And uh, I'm enjoying it. It's basically... Spoilers, the story is kind of Star Wars. <laughs> like there's a big bad empire and you're running around with the princess and <laughs> it's like a lightsaber away from Star Wars. <laughs> your dad cut your hand off. Yeah. I haven't gotten to the end yet, so or end of the second act. <laughs> Not his dad. That's mostly what I've been into. That's the only thing you're playing. That's it? F- Basically. Just Final Fantasy? Just that. Yeah. Okay. Are you- Playing a little of uh, Neverwinter, right? No, I quit already. <laughs> I got to the max level and then was bored. Yeah, so you didn't even no wait for any of us, anyone else to level up. I go on vacation, I come back and you're max level. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your vacation. Well, I was supposed to sit on my ass the whole time. 
<laughs> yeah, you were on vacation. He wasn't. He had winter to stop. I'm assuming that's what that game's about. It's never a winter. <laughs> Not in my house. Winter is never coming. I was just going to say that. For some reason. All righty. Anyone have any... I didn't get the go. I just talked about Anthem because that's what. Oh, I thought that's all you've been playing. Yeah, <laughs> no, it's not. I mean, all right, Jeff. What else have you been playing? So I recently picked up a Switch. I've been playing a couple demos on there, including the Yoshi one. I can't wait till that comes out at the end of this month. Yeah, we doing what we're looking forward to as well. After you're done, yeah, you can uh, go ahead if you want. Been playing a lot of Super Smash Brothers. Uh, pretty much like I unlocked every character in less than two days, maybe four days. Sounds like playing a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Is there like 40-some <laughs> characters? What's up? Is there like 40-some characters? Like, uh, a lot more than that to unlock. There's 50-something at least. There's like 60 characters on Oh, jeez. <laughs> yeah. There's a you shitload. start with eight. I just bought Zelda Breath of the Wild today. <gasps> so, Justin, I'm probably not going to be... My, my Super Smash Brothers skills are going to be... You, hey... No, because listen, I understand. You no, need not it. because I'm getting to play it, but because my wife is getting to play it. Because uh, my wife is going to play it. So I have nice. to wait. She Two switches. She gets to play all the Zeldas first. You um, need to watch. <laughs> was that in your vows? No. I'll always let you play the Zeldas first. <laughs> no, it's just something that happened because whatever. You're um, romantic. So yeah, Anthem, been playing a lot of that. Uh, brought, uh, I bought... Dragon Ball Fighter Z. Yeah. Mm. It was on sale on PlayStation Network. And I don't know what edition I got, but I got the season one characters. It's it's okay. I gotta play it a little more. I made the mistake of like I bought it, went over our friend's house, and he's like, Oh, I love this game, let's play. And um I just got my butt kicked because I don't know any of the basic mechanics of the game. Sure. Um I think I, I almost won one match and that was the closest I got. <laughs> but that game, uh, then that it was game. like, let's play Tekken 7. And then <laughs> nobody, <laughs> nobody beat me except for uh, somebody who had never played the game before. <laughs> nice. Beginner's luck. Button yeah. mashers for the win. Yeah. That, I was taking uh, on them, though. I wasn't playing my best characters. Mm-hmm. That Dragon Ball game uh, looked amazing to me, and I I'm not into Dragon Ball, but I like really kind of want to get it. What was I, it? Uh, what was it on sale for? Do you remember? I think I got it for sixty bucks or less than sixty bucks, and I got the DLC with it, oh. like five or six characters. Eh, I'll wait. <laughs> That's <laughs> a little just, too steep for. Yeah, it's kind of for something I'm I'm not all that familiar with. Those those Dragon Ball Z games don't really dip that far down in price though. They're usually pretty you know what I mean? They stay pretty constant. Yeah, I got the Xenoverse uh, uh, one, one for I pretty love, good price. One thing I love about this game is it only takes up 6 gigabytes on your hard drive. Oh, wow. <laughs> something you got to consider. Yeah, something you got to consider cuz Tekken 7 takes 50. Jesus. So. <laughs> I don't think Skyrim like even takes 50. <laughs> fucking Red Dead. I had to go out and buy server space in Silicon Valley just to be able to fucking play it. it came with like 17 discs. It's like playing Carmen San Diego on a fucking Apple II because I had to keep swapping the discs out. <laughs> I, I think that's why s- I always hated the movie Titanic. On VHS, you had to swap. Because you, you, you had to swatch. The, yeah, Bill. And no, one, and no one would ever let you just fucking take the first movie out. You had to rewind that motherfucker first. No, I only something. ever watched the yeah, second movie. You be kind movie, and rewind, all right? The second movie has the boobs and also has the people dropping off the damn boat. That's the best part. You don't watch the first that fucking works. tape. You don't want to see the romance <laughs> and the cheese. If I go to America. Oh, wow. Just All right. Watch the movie podcast episode about Titanic. <laughs> it's, it did have me laughing out loud. Movie so I've, fucking I've never watched or a movie. lull. You're Is missing out. Just, and I've never watched the notebook. Missing. I'm not missing out on shit. Just listen Dude, to the oh, podcast. Titanic. It's hilarious. <laughs> and that. Justin goes scene by scene, so it's kind of like watching it. <laughs> I, I describe it so well, it's like you're there. Yeah. 
like you're sitting with Justin watching it. All right, so as he's commentating. Game, last game I'm playing. I uh, I ended up getting Xbox Game Pass. Oh. Uh, so I've been I've been playing through a lot of games on that. Uh, most notably Wolfenstein: uh, New World Order. I think it's called. That's the one that I just played a while or ago. New Colossus, whatever the fuck it's called. I didn't That's really care sec- for it. I don't really care for it. That's they, the they, second they, one, the New Colossus. Is it? Yeah. I don't know which one I'm playing. I'm playing the first one, I think. <laughs> there's the New Order, then there's the Old Blood, and then there's the New Colossus. But like Old Blood was like a short. I'm the, I'm the one where you start in the plane. That's the new order. That's the first one. Okay, so I'm playing new order, and it's okay. Uh, it it's, gets it's better. Decent. Um, I'm 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 gonna try and stick with it then. Yeah, I would because it's actually really good historical fiction. Like the writing in it is very good. It's very like man in the high castle kind of concept, and um, the the story is the only reason I played that game. I'm not a big shooter guy, but yeah. um. You know, I, I think that was like the first game I ever streamed and I had I was um, just gonna say I think I watched you stream. You watched me and all it was was just me screaming and going, Ah, what the hell is that? <laughs> shit just... Goddamn robot dogs though. Yeah. Oh the robot dogs scared the hell out of me. Justin, I wanna watch you stream uh Resident Evil too. Not gonna right? well, yeah, Mr. X just chases there. you around Never the entire fucking game. X, with the mod on it. X gonna yeah, give it to you. Yeah. He gonna give it to you. X gonna give it. <laughs> so I don't know if we talked about this before, but in Resident Evil Two, like they want you to play like with the headphones on, just because like the sound is like so much better, like the quality. Yeah. I forget what they call it, but like you can hear that motherfucker's footsteps on like the other oh, end God. end of the house. And you can just hear him progressively getting louder and louder, and you just start panicking as you're playing. You're like, fuck, I gotta run away from this motherfucker. And he ain't even anywhere near I me. hate that. I hate that. How do you even that, get away from him? That you you just gotta keep running. You just can keep running nonstop from him. Did you guys play the game Inside? Nah. No. It was oh, from the guy, the, the people that Limbo? made Limbo. Yeah. yeah. I played Limbo. Uh, so, so that game, like, you would be walking and, like, you would see these dogs chasing you through the woods in the background and knowing that as soon as they found a road, they would like come towards you. So you'd be like walking along and stuff. You'd see the dogs and then they would like come down a path towards you. But like every time you're doing this little segment of the game, you'd hear and the dogs are like getting closer and they're closing in on you and you hear the footsteps and stuff and you jump and they just like miss you. And I couldn't take it, dude. Like, I had to play that game. It probably took me, like, 147 days to get through it because my nerves were shot after every play session. It's a All good right, game, so That's, that's kind of <laughs> it. Because other than that, I've, I've played a, go- a couple games, like, here and there, but nothing to talk about yet because I haven't gotten that far. And, uh... So what are you guys looking forward to coming out? We got uh, Shovel Knight Showdown coming out. That looked pretty good. Hell yeah, Shovel Knight. There's too um, many like showdowns, like kind of games. <laughs> okay, fuck is that I don't want to see people it? fighting. Like, come on, the whole like. Well, the quick review or overview I saw of it said there's going to be like story modes for like all the characters, and then there's also like you can compete or play together. So it's not just like Smash Brothers Shovel Knight, you know. Yeah, but Shovel Knight as a whole is an amazing freaking game that they basically have made three games out of one game at this point, and they're all spectacular. And, uh, yeah, I think the, the year that game came out, I was like, oh, it released first on the Wii U and nobody had that fucking console except for three of us. <laughs> um, but, uh, I think you guys were my only, only friends on the Wii U, but like, that game was just so fucking good. Like, I'm I'm glad that it finally got ported to other consoles so other people could check it out. But yeah, I'm I'm really excited for to see what the next Shovel Knight thing's gonna be. Totes. <laughs> Something else is coming out. I'd look good. I forget what it is now. Well, that Days Gone game. It's like a new zombie, like a post apocalyptic survival game. Looks all right. I don't know if I'll get it. 
Yeah. Wait till the reviews come out and the masses play it. That's where I'm at. I'm with with Days Gone. I'm like I've seen this before. Played enough zombie games. I'm kind of tired. yeah. I think, that's the, I think that's the general consensus among most gamers too. Is like, okay, it's been done. You know. I think who is making that? Uh, uh, not Naughty Dog, is it? it looks no, like, it's not Naughty. It looks dog. like the Naughty Dog engine. I can yeah. Do Santa Monica Studio? No. That's not it. Fuck, I just saw it. Um, it was... SIE Bend Studio? S- yeah, Sony Developers. Bend. I use the Unreal Engine. Unreal! Oh, yeah. I'm within the <laughs> Sony Unreal Interactive. Engine. SIE, Sony. So, I don't know. Yeah, and then, Sony. Uh, yeah. And then there is a game oh. coming out in like April or May called Dauntless, which is kind of like a play. Like it was influenced off of like Monster Hunter. So that game looks, but it's kind of like Fortnite meets Monster Hunter from what I can. It doesn't look good. And from like early reviews, um, it doesn't play that well either. Like I'm sure they're going to make like massive improvements, but I'm not as a fan of Monster Hunter or games like that. Um, not really a fan of that right now. Doesn't look like it's up to snuff. Some of the stuff that's coming out here, I wanted to check out uh, Toe Jam and Earl back in the groove. Yeah, it just, just came that out. Up. Yeah, it just came out um, on the first, and uh, it looks dope. It looks like one of the original Toe Jam and Earl games. Um, and I was just playing through. I think it was the first one. Um, on the Genesis collection that came out on Switch. Um, Final Fantasy VII's coming out, I think, this month. I'm looking forward to that one because Final Fantasy VII um, was actually a game, like a Final Fantasy game that piqued my interest, and I love the movie, um, even though the two really aren't related. Um, but the movie, the movie came out in like the early 2000s or something and the game came out in like 97 96 something 97 like that sounds right yeah. yeah and uh that uh the movie actually made me want to play the game for the first time so i went back and actually played played that game and i still really enjoy it um but yeah yoshi's crafted world definitely looks dope um and there's other stuff coming too, like Mortal Kombat 11 is uh, coming soon in April. And I'm having an internal debate. Do I get it on the Switch because I love playing the Switch? Or do I get it on the PS4 because it's a kind of a... A real a gra- game? Yeah, it, yeah, I hate to say it, but yeah, it's like a graphics hog that uh, you know I'm going to want the surround sound on when I'm playing Mortal Kombat. I want to hear them fucking bones crying. Get over here. <laughs> Doesn't interest me at all. No, because they're it. using the injustice system, and I hate the injustice system. Yeah, I just... I If a Mortal Kombat or Injustice game comes out, I want to play it. And I, I love the... Uh, I, Mortal Kombat 9 was way better than 10, in my opinion. Oh, um, absolutely. But... You know, and I think it does kind of, it is that fighting system, but I still... Well, yeah, it's 10. It's not 9. Yeah, it's not 9. It's in 10. Um, But I I do still really enjoy the Mortal Kombat games, interestingly enough, for the story. I know that may sound a little weird, but I always enjoyed the story. They're they're fun. Yeah, it's... Yeah, it is what it is. It's kind of a bonkers story, but... Does you know what's the uh, fighting game that I want? Sorry. I was going to ask if there's comics that like go along with the Mortal Kombat story. I mean, I'm sure there are. Because <laughs> the, the Injustice comics are Yeah, that really was the good. only redeeming quality of that series. Was that the what? comics were really good? The, the Injustice, Injustice series. series. Oh, Injustice was amazing. Oh you my know what God. else? That first year. <laughs> has a good comic series is Street Fighter. Oh, yeah? Sure, yeah. yeah. Yeah, the new or Sonic one, right? the Hedgehog. Like the new Challenger ones or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. I read some of those. But 
getting back, uh, fighting game that I need to bring back is Clay Fighter. It's still one of the best <laughs> fighting games of all time. I'll back you on that. You're so fucking right, Bill. I would love to see, like, even if it was like like they did with um, Earthworm Jim or something like that, where they released it as just a digital fifteen dollar. Twenty dollar game or something like Earthworm that. Earthworm Jim was in the Clay Fighter, like the yeah, he Nintendo was. 64 it was the same version. people. Yeah. <laughs> it was the same people. I think it was Interplay. Was uh, the company that made them? I think and so. yeah, yeah, I, I so. always remember what was the green blob. That was my favorite character. Blob? His name Who? was Blob. His name was Blob. <laughs> was it? Something. I like, was like Mr. Frosty. Yeah, bad, Mr. bad, Mr. Frosty. Yeah, the yeah. carrot fingernails or whatever. <laughs> oh my god. And that clown, that clown was so oh, funny. I hate the clown. Yeah. You play like as that clown. You Icky can get the Bod Clay. Icky <laughs> Bod Clay? Yeah. That Icky would be a Bod weird. Clay. Good stuff. You know, I tried to... I I have a, uh, a pretty big Nintendo 64 collection, like every great game that was ever on there. Um, so all of them? Well, there was a ton <laughs> of sports games on there that, like, obviously haven't aged well. But... Um, yeah, so I've got like two shoe boxes full of games, and I really want the Clay Fighter '64 Sculptor's Cut, but it's like a hundred and eighty-nine bucks or something. Like it's a ridiculous price for the cart. I um, it. Yeah, because it's I guess it's one of those rare ones. Also, Turok Rage Wars. If you ever find a gray copy of that, is worth a lot of money. Wow, what's okay. the difference? Because they pressed it in a black cartridge and the gray cartridge for some reason. It's kind of like the Zelda cartridges. There's the gold one, the gray one, and I think there's a black one. Or no, there's the hologram logo on the gold one that was like the pre-order bonus or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> pre-order bonus. That wasn't a thing back then. <laughs> yes, it was. This is 1998. Yeah, it was. That was when it started. Yeah. Oh, I'm thinking like the original Zelda. No, 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 no. I'm thinking. I'm. I'm. Mean, <laughs> That's like, not that We're on the same page now. And, I got you. Uh, Ocarina. Sorry, Thanks. I went off on a tangent there. All right, oh, we love it. Nintendo Press. 64, Press. the greatest system ever. I'm kind <laughs> of. Uh, it's like really excited for Rage Two to come out as well. I when's, was just going to bring that up because I just pre-ordered it today. Uh, when's see, that supposed I to be bought, out? Um, Middle of May. I don't yeah, know the exact. I, Oh, let me look it up. May 14th. Mm. Well, I bought uh, Breath of the Wild and I brought it, I bought it new. So for f- I could reserve Rage 2 for five bucks for free. So I got five dollars off of Rage 2. Nice. You're not working hard, you're working smart. <laughs> oh, I don't even know, man. Uh, nice. <laughs> Family Guy reference. Yeah. All right. Balloons on the mailbox is the international sign for party, party over, over here. here. <laughs> oh, Let's see. <laughs> I mean, you have no, 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 no. A game that I know I talked about this before. Team Sonic Racing to me makes zero fucking sense. <laughs> I knew you were you ever played it. them? Yeah, yeah, I have, and they suck. No, but it doesn't make sense. The Sonic the Hedgehog awesome. is faster running on his feet than he would be driving a car. It doesn't make yeah, sense. He's just letting other people compete with him, man. I don't think Sonic's that kind of dude. <laughs> yeah, Sonic's not going to rub it in your face. No, he is. He would rub yeah. it in your face. He's a cocky motherfucker. You think? I think so. Catch him at the chili dog stand <clears throat> and rough his ass up. Is he the dude with the toot or something else? No, he was like the hedgehog with... You know how many years it took me to figure out miles per hour? What? <laughs> you know, it's miles, quote, tails, per hour. Dude's name is miles per hour. Tails. Very good. Figured that out like months ago. <laughs> <laughs> me, and, well, me and Luke were playing Sonic 2, and I was like, those clever sons of bitches. Welcome to 1998 or whenever that came out. <laughs> like in 92, 93. Yeah. Um, the Division beta was this weekend. 
and I was sort of looking forward to it because uh, it looked really good, but I don't know anymore. Like, it didn't Except seem like Washington people were... DC one. Yeah. yeah, it didn't seem like the beta like really went all too well. Um, so I don't know. Not really excited for it, and I don't think the community is really excited for it either. I mean, I wouldn't be after everyone got screwed over with the first one. Yeah, but I mean, they definitely they kinda... like improved, and the game plan for this one is like a lot of like the all the DLC is going to be free. Um, so they have a pretty good game plan and roadmap for stuff. I think just like I'm not, I was never interested in the Dark Zone stuff. So yeah. like, I don't know. That's a lot of the end game, which I don't really like. Um, so I don't know. We'll we'll see how it is when it's released and what reviews that it gets. But who is that? Ubi- Ubisoft. Yeah, Ubisoft, Ubisoft that does that. Yeah, they've they've actually done really well with um, you know keeping up with their games. Like uh, I think it was the Siege, the other Tom Clancy game came out not long ago. Rainbow Six: The Siege. I think that's what it was, but that game freaking sucked ass. It looked so good at uh, E3 or whatever, and I remember when it came out, I played it, and I was like, this is terrible. But from what I've heard, they like kept up with it, took like people's recommendations, and really worked hard to kind of turn it into what it is now. Yeah. Yeah, they've been doing that with a bunch of their games. Like They took a lot of people were taking shots at their business model and unlike ea they decided to do something about it so yeah (laughs) for the most part anyway um they've also been milking the shit out of like other games like uh i really just want a new ghost recon wildlands but they just keep releasing more content like more multiplayer stuff and i'm like "Ah, i'm not really interested in a multiplayer like i want a full new game i want a whole new map uh you know I want a uh, Ghost Recon Advanced Warfighter, like a futuristic setting with the same open world dynamic, like would be really fucking cool. Um, I don't know. And then the other thing they've been milking is uh, Siege. That's like in its like, I don't know, 20th season. <laughs> it's probably closer to four or five, but round it up. Yeah. I mean, that game's been out for forever. I think it's been out for four or five years now. I want to say. Let's see. 2015. Yeah, there you go. Four years. Well, December 2015, so. So that means there's been six seasons. Because they do two a year. Mm. And they didn't do one the first year. I don't know. I could never get in, into any of those games for some reason. Rainbow Six Siege was like phenomenal when it first started. Like it was, it was like hard, like really hard and fun to play. Um, you really had to be like skilled at it. And then like the more they release like new people, yeah. And the fact that like other people got to play them ahead of time, unless you bought them, was kind of. It felt kind of wonky, and I just kind of fell off of it. But oh. Looks here. Looks like they're trying to do uh, cross-platform playing with Siege. With Siege, yeah, yeah. It's probably Ubisoft's probably going to be one of the first companies to get that shit going. They were talking about it with uh, when the first division came out, I believe. Sorry. And then I think that was it. Was that game maybe? And Fortnite, and they Sony was just like, (laughs) "Now we're babies." We've been doing everything right this console generation <laughs> or iteration, but now we're like, let's fuck it up. <laughs> Time to shoot ourselves in the foot. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> nice. I almost forgot about Devil May Cry 5 coming out. Did you say who? I said boo. Oh, I've played all the other games, so. That's fair. I, don't I mean, I'm places. not going to buy it. I'll get Did it you on. like the last Save one, by. Bill? Yeah. DMC. Yeah. I just like, I don't know. It's just like They're fun. mindless game that you can just yeah. They just... are. They're just like dumb stories that are like over the See top. See how many combos you can get. Yeah, I, just, like... I think I just hate 
buying them because like I just get bored so quick, so I never get like the full value of it. Yeah, because I just I never finish them. <laughs> they kind of remind me of like the old style of God of War game. Um, yeah, you know, with that same. just hack and slash. Yeah, you're just kind of button mashing and doing cool shit and stuff, and like. Those can be fun, like if the story is really cool, like God of War, like, you know, interweaving like the Greek mythology, stick around, you might learn something, um, you know, <laughs> and the, uh, you know, with, with, with DMC, uh, you know, it's just 30 different ways to hide a penis in some of the games, <laughs> like, it's just so like bonkers, like the opening fight in, in DMC was the, uh, like when his his trailer or whatever explodes and he's flying naked through the air and there's like a baseball bat comes down and covers his cock and then like a slice of pizza and like all this stuff. <laughs> it's Love it. completely out this of is so weird because I'm usually the one talking about number. penises and cocks. Well, Bill. It's my favorite form of comedy, really. Yeah. How to Jake hide jokes the penis. Fart jokes. No, no, no. How to hide your penis. Oh. <laughs> Want to want to rehearse? Trying to think of some good ones. Oh. <laughs> now in <Yeah>. television. <laughs> God. All right. Mm. Let's wrap this up. There's like nothing else coming so out we, that I can see. That I give a shit. The other thing I was gonna say was Pokemon, but I have no uh-huh. idea when that's coming coming out. So. Yeah, that was just next year. I'm I'm that mixed about the that. end of this year. That they was coming this year. Hey, I don't was remember. It late summer that I think they said. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, something like that. It was soon. Yeah. I have trepidations about that game. Mm-hmm. That you already pre ordered? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. Because how there's a couple of things that they need to get right. Like, one, it needs to have multiplayer. If they don't have multiplayer, it's a Switch game. If you don't have some form of like co op playing on the same system or online multiplayer. Which I'm sure they'll have like online multiplayer, but like the co-op is like what I really want. I don't know for uh, Let's Go. Yeah, Pokemon. So, so that and you, you have to be able to access the PokeBank. If you can't access the PokeBank and pull Pokemon off of there, I don't know. What am I paying a dollar a year for, or some whatever it costs to have the PokeBank? <laughs> I don't even know what you're talking about. So, so the PokeBank is like. Uh, it's for the 3DS or yeah. portable Nintendo systems. And every like Pokemon game, you can take your Pokemon that you raised and leveled in it and put it in the PokeBank. So like if I got a bunch of characters from like Ruby, uh, the game Ruby, I could transfer them into the new like Sun game or whatever, like the newest game and like transfer like all the Pokemon there. Like now story wise, you still have to finish and get your characters level to a point where you can actually control Pokemon of certain levels. So it's like, it's good and bad, but it's a way it's like how they used to allow you to get other Pokemon from regions you couldn't get in the game. Mm. Cause I think in sun and moon, you couldn't get gray ninja. The only way you could get him is if you ported him from the Pokebank bank from another game. Or traded them from somebody that had it from a pokey bank. Blah, blah, blah. So, can yeah. I back up a second? Because <laughs> <laughs> I I played uh, Pokemon Red when it was on the Game Boy, and then after that, I've only ever played the remakes on emulators. How do you get it on? Wait, what, what was Ruby on? Like, so the pokey bank is. An app you can download onto your onto your Nintendo DS, the 3DS. Oh, okay, okay, okay. And the new so you're playing those on those games on yeah. those consoles. Okay, I think I get it now. So that was a lot of like the big hype for when they were re-released. I think some of the older games like Red, Yellow. Right. Yeah, I got Yellow when that happened. So I think you can use the Pokemon, the PokeBank, like to store the Pokemon from those games. I think that was a feature that they added. I want to say maybe they didn't, but you can transfer Pokemon out of that game. You can't transfer Pokemon into that game because it doesn't work 
<laughs> right? Because <laughs> science. Yeah, because yeah, science, yeah. right. Backwards uh, compatibility sure, doesn't right. work. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah. But you could transfer yeah. Pokemon up into new iterations of games. And right. so Pokemon Pokebank is like an app okay. where you can store like I think like something crazy like five hundred Pokemon or something like that. Mm. And In then your Poke decks. Gotta collect yeah. them all. Or yeah. catch them all. Has anyone ever decks. thought about the rights of Pokemon? And that they might no. not want to be stored in these no. little Pokeballs. So, so this is like Part of that, that was an argument I had for the longest time. I was right. not a fan of Pokemon growing up, and I would always say to people who are like diehard fans, like you know, it's just dog fighting, right? <laughs> 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 it's literally dog fighting. You can never. Michael Vick was just a big fan of uh, yeah. Pokemon. You can you could never tell me that like <laughs> Rottweiler. I choose you. Yeah, it's just training the next generation of, of people who like who who, who fight dogs and, yeah. and chickens and all kinds of shit. The cockfights. Yeah, cockfights, whatever. Like it's it's literally what that game is. Just oh, anyway, innocent just animals just beating the shit out of each other until one passes out. <laughs> Quotation marks. <laughs> but they love it. That's and you like have to use a to revive do. to like fucking <laughs> revive it. And not to mention you dematerialize the entire being so it lives in this tiny fucking ball. <laughs> Have we ever thought that like Nurse Joy is like the ringleader of all this? <laughs> Absolutely, man. Because she's a clone. I don't even think your Pokemon are like the same. Like, I think that it's like Star Trek technology, but like worse. Like it just stores like their digital code. Like Somebody you kill the Pokemon when you capture it. You've and you're just storing the digital more. code. And the digital like the things are just fighting each other and killing them each other. And when they die, like you literally have to revive them. Like, I don't know. I was always more of a fan of Digimon. <laughs> yeah, because they were digital. Yeah. They were. Digital. They were the champions. Yeah. <laughs> they died a long time ago. Can't, it's okay uh, to fight with can't them. Can't argue with that. <laughs> Poor kids are out there throwing their Tamagotchis at each other. I mean, I also kind of like Monster Ranger back in the day. Also. Hmm. Hmm. I think I used to confuse Monster Hunter and Monster Rancher. Probably. I never played. <laughs> you were out either. there ranching and getting killed by monsters and being like, "You <laughs> sons of bitches, <laughs> get in my farm." <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Uh, well, yeah, and that's why I don't never heard of that because I never really uh, after the Game Boy didn't know any get of Nintendo's. Sorry. <laughs> I didn't own any of the uh, portable consoles, uh, like any of the DSs, so I didn't really keep up with Pokemon. Uh, so anyway, that's kind of why this first Pokemon game I'm excited for in 20 years, <laughs> as I own the console, it'll be released on. So, oh yeah. And so if it sucks, I don't care. Yeah. I guess that probably makes it a little more enticing for you. Uh, yeah, I guess. I could, I could never get past the term pocket monster with a straight face. <laughs> okay. Nice. And with that. <laughs> Thanks for joining us here on the Nerd Herd Gaming Podcast. Hope you enjoyed our update of what's going on in our gaming lives. If you want to hear more, you can follow us on Facebook at facebook.com backslash next level nerd and Twitter at NLN Gaming. Leave a comment, follow, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Tell us what you liked, what you didn't like. We appreciate any feedback you're willing to give us. And also be sure to check out our other podcast, the Next Level Nerd Movie Podcast, 3 2 on Lay On for LARPing, and Sugar Frosted Cereal for TV. All right, thanks for joining me, guys. Thanks for that's, having us, fella. That's your cue. <laughs> <laughs> I was just going to ignore you. I'm not going to lie. Right, you're a fun. prick. <laughs> Used to. I love it. <laughs> All right. Thanks for listening, everybody. And remember to spread the word, spread the nerd. All right, guys. Thanks for listening here at what is the show called? Okay. I don't know. Let's start over. Wait, were we recording? I'll take two. <laughs> Hold on. I'm Seven sorry. minutes worth. Crash Team Racing Nitro Fuel. Oh, I know. I'm so hyped for no, that. Fuck that game, too. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. Because he sucked at it. I'm excited for it.